planning your next trip to Venice, Italy? We've got you covered on where to stay based on your preferences. If you're the classic charmer, the kind of traveler who loves to be in the heart of the action, then San Marco is the place for you. It's quintessential Venice, with its winding streets, grand squares, and a myriad of historical landmarks, including the awe-inspiring St. Mark's Basilica and the Doge's Palace. The area is bustling with energy and offers a rich tapestry of experiences that will immerse you in the city's vibrant culture. For the budget-conscious traveler, the district of Canareggio offers a more cost-effective but equally vibrant alternative. Situated just across the Grand Canal from San Marco, Canareggio is a quieter, more residential area, brimming with local charm. Here you'll find affordable accommodations, traditional Venetian eateries and hidden gems like the Jewish ghetto, the oldest in the world. It's a place where you can live like a local without breaking the bank. And finally, for the beach lovers, there's the sun-drenched Lido Island. A quick Vaporetto ride from the city center, Lido offers a peaceful respite from the bustling streets of Venice. Here you can bask in the sun on beautiful sandy beaches, enjoy a leisurely bike ride along the island's scenic pathways, or indulge in a gelato while strolling along its charming shopping streets. Lido Island is a tranquil haven that provides the perfect balance between relaxation and exploration. Each of these areas offers a unique perspective on Venice, allowing you to tailor your stay to your preferences. Whether you're drawn to the historical grandeur of San Marco, the authentic charm of Canareggio, or the tranquil beauty of Lido Island, you're guaranteed a memorable stay. Now that you know where to stay, let's dive into what you can do in Venice. Venice is a city full of wonders waiting to be discovered. Here are some must-do activities. Imagine yourself meandering through the labyrinth of Venice's narrow streets, each turn leading you to a new discovery. The allure of the unknown fuels your curiosity as you stumble upon hidden squares, quaint bridges, and unexpected treasures. Getting lost in Venice is not a cause for concern. It's a joyous adventure. Now picture a serene glide on a gondola, the heart of Venice's charm. As the gondolier navigates the tranquil canals, you'll be swept away by the city's mesmerizing beauty, its historic buildings reflecting in the shimmering water. Each glide is a journey that reveals Venice's soul, one canal at a time. Next, prepare to marvel at St. Mark's Square, a grand testament to Venetian architectural splendor. Standing before the magnificent St. Mark's Basilica, you'll find your breath taken away by its intricate mosaics and towering domes. But don't stop there, Climb the Campanile, the city's tallest bell tower, for panoramic views that stretch as far as the eye can see. And remember, no visit to the square is complete without feeding the pigeons. Responsibly, of course. Finally, step into the opulent world of Venetian aristocracy at the Doge's Palace. Each room is a gateway to the past, rich with art and history. From the grandeur of the Senate Chamber to the haunting tales of the prison cells, the Doge's Palace is a vibrant tapestry of Venice's past. These activities are just the tip of the iceberg. Venice has so much more to offer, especially when it comes to food. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Don't hesitate to contact us with your questions. Venice is a paradise for food lovers. Here are some culinary delights you shouldn't miss. First up, the Cicchetti and Baccaro Crawl. Think of it as the Venetian version of tapas. These bite-sized appetizers are a local favorite. You'll find a variety of cicchetti, from seafood to vegetables, all paired with a glass of local wine at a bustling Baccaro. Next, let's talk about bagoli in salsa, a traditional Venetian pasta dish. It's a simple yet flavorful combination of onions, anchovies, and bagoli pasta that will surely delight your palate. Then there's risotto, a creamy, comforting dish that's a staple in Italian cuisine. In Venice, you'll often find it prepared with fresh seafood, a nod to the city's rich maritime heritage. And of course, no culinary tour of Venice would be complete without gelato. This Italian ice cream is smooth, rich, and comes in a dizzying array of flavors. After satisfying your taste buds, it's time to immerse yourself in Venice's vibrant culture. Venice is a city rich in cultural gems. Let's explore some of them. First off, Venice hosts a contemporary art extravaganza every two years known as the Venice Biennale. This event is a global gathering of art enthusiasts, offering an array of exhibitions and installations from artists all over the world. It's a must-visit for anyone keen on immersing themselves in the pulse of the global art scene. Then, there's Carnivale, held every February, where Venice transforms into a magical wonderland. 
It's an extravagant spectacle of costumes, masks, parades, and lively celebrations. The festive spirit during Carnivale is palpable, with every corner of the city bursting with color, music, and revelry. Opera lovers, you're in for a treat. Opera at La Fenice is one of the most significant landmarks in the history of Italian theater. Known for its grandeur and storied past, La Fenice has seen the premieres of numerous operas, including works of Rossini and Verdi. Attending a performance here is not just about the music, but also about experiencing a piece of Venice's rich cultural history. Art enthusiasts will also love the Galleria dell'Accademia, home to an impressive collection of Venetian art from the 14th to 18th centuries. This gallery offers a journey through time, showcasing the evolution of Venetian art and its influence on the art world. The Peggy Guggenheim Collection is another must-visit. This modern art museum houses works by prominent artists of the 20th century, like Picasso and Pollock. It's a testament to Peggy Guggenheim's lifelong passion for art and her commitment to supporting artists. Next, the Scuola Grande di San Rocco, adorned with Tintoretto's masterpieces, is a hidden treasure that showcases the pinnacle of Venetian Renaissance art. It's a feast for the eyes and a journey into the spiritual and artistic traditions of Venice. Finally, there's Ca Rizzonico, a museum dedicated to 18th century Venice. Housed in a grand Baroque palace, it offers a glimpse into the opulent Venetian lifestyle, featuring exquisite furnishings, art, and decor. Venice's cultural scene is vibrant and diverse, but it's also a city full of festive spirit. Venice knows how to celebrate. Here are some festivals you should experience. The Redentori Festival is a time-honored event that commemorates the end of a devastating plague in the 16th century. Today, it is marked by a spectacular fireworks display over the Grand Canal, a grand feast, and a procession of beautifully decorated boats. Next up, we have Bogolonga, a fun-filled rowing event. Participants from all over the world come to navigate through Venice's enchanting canals and lagoon in a variety of traditional boats. It's a sight to behold, and an event that promotes respect for the city's waterways. Last, but certainly not least, is the Festa del Cinema. Held annually at the Venice Lido, it's one of the world's oldest film festivals. Here you can catch a glimpse of international movie stars, watch premieres, and celebrate the magic of cinema. Festivals are a big part of Venice's charm, but there are also lesser-known spots that are worth exploring. Looking for something off the beaten path? Check out these hidden gems in Venice. Nestled in the heart of the city, the Libreria Aqua Alta is no ordinary bookstore. It's a whimsical haven with books stacked in gondolas and bathtubs, a testament to Venice's constant battle with the sea. Take a moment to flip open a tome and lose yourself in another world. Then, there's the vibrant Campo Santa Margarita. By day, it's a bustling market filled with fresh produce and local delicacies. By night, it transforms into a lively social hub, where laughter and clinking glasses echo through the square. Finally, seek tranquility at the Giardini Papadopoli, a verdant oasis in the midst of the city's hustle and bustle. It's the perfect spot to unwind, with the gentle rustle of leaves and the sweet scent of flowers enveloping you in a serene embrace. These hidden gems add an extra layer of charm to Venice. But before you go, here are some extra nuggets of wisdom for first-time Venetian adventurers. First time in Venice? Here are some tips to make your trip smoother and more enjoyable. Consider getting a Vaporetto Pass. This handy ticket gives you unlimited access to the city's water buses, an essential mode of transport in this canal-laced wonderland. Beware of high water, especially during autumn and winter. Pack your waterproof boots and keep an eye on the tide forecasts. Opt for an off-season visit. Venice can be overwhelmingly crowded in the summer, but come autumn or winter, you'll find a more relaxed, intimate city. Staying in an apartment with a kitchen not only saves you on restaurant costs, but also lets you experience local life. Don't miss exploring the islands. Murano, Burano, and Torcello each offer unique experiences. Fancy yourself a foodie? Take a cooking class and learn to whip up traditional Venetian dishes. And remember, Venice is a treasure to be preserved. Avoid littering and promote responsible tourism. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Don't hesitate to contact us with your questions.